Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today's video is a hair video and today I'm reviewing the Batiste Dry Shampoo which has just launched in India a few months back as well as showing you how to use a dry shampoo in case you are new to this product. So a dry shampoo is basically something you can use for a quick fix if you're not able to do a proper shampoo. It's basically like a powder spray. It contains a very fine, highly absorbent powder which is supposed to spray directly on your roots. Our scalp is basically skin and and just like the rest of the skin on our body it also has oily glands so in between washes it gets greasy it gets dirty and as a result our roots start looking greasy and dirty so in case you're not able to wash your hair if you're running late on a certain day and you just don't have the time to do a proper shampoo a dry shampoo gives you the option of degreasing the roots taking away that oily limp feeling just freshening up the hair till the time that you can do a proper wash so it's a quick fix it's a really handy product and it's a really useful product for women on the go it basically contains a very absorbent fine powder so once you spray it on the roots that powder absorbs all that extra oil and just decreases the hair gives it a fresher look and also gives a little bit of texture and hold batiste is a uk based brand it's the number one dry shampoo brand in the uk and it is now available in india through an official distributor online you can get this at nika and currently because of the diwali sale you can actually get these at a pretty good discount the batiste dry shampoos come in two sizes you've got the bigger size which retails for rupees 750 and the smaller size which is great if you want to just try out the product retails for rupees 299 the thing that i love most about the brand is that they have got so many different variants in their dry shampoo range they have uh, a tinted one which basically contains a little bit of a dark brown tint just so that the dry shampoo doesn't show up as a whitish powder on your roots and the other variants also have some really fun uh, scents like cherry blush so if you like a little bit of a freshening scent these are great to try out so i've been trying out the tinted variant since the past few days and i really like it i was really intrigued by this one because i have never tried a dry shampoo before which had a bit of a tint i was a little concerned about the tint because uh, I wasn't sure how strong it's going to be but after trying out for a few times I can say it's a very light tint it's not like spraying on hair color or a temporary hair color kind of thing it just has a very slight brown hint of it so that you don't get that white powdery residue on your hair like some of the other dry shampoos might give you so this is a really nice variant I personally really like it people who have really dark hair like me would really like this one I generally wash my hair every third day but it's been I think three days already so my hair was feeling a little greasy today my roots were a little limp a little flat so I used the dry shampoo today I'm just going to give you a quick demo how you're supposed to use it step one is shaking the bottle really well because this contains really fine powder powder tends to settle down at the bottom of the bottle so it needs to be shaken properly just distribute it evenly in the aerosol the next thing you need to do is spray directly onto your roots keeping a distance about 10 to 12 inches then move on and make another parting and then spray it again once you've covered your entire head you can then use your fingers just to massage and work up that dry shampoo really well into the roots you would notice that it gives you a bit of volume a little bit of texture and hold as well and you would notice that all that extra greasiness vanishes completely once you use this and after that you can just comb out your hair just to get any excess residue out and then you can style your hair the way you want and apart from the tinted variant i have also tried these two this is the cherry and the other one is a floral scent which is called blush and it's very hard to choose one which i like more because both of these smell really fresh really nice but i think i like the cherry one a little bit more just because i'm more into fruity scents the fragrances in these dry shampoos are not heavy at all they're quite mild they feel really refreshing and pleasant to use and i think the scents and the fact that they have a tinted variant really distinguishes the brand in the market and i like that they do smaller variants as well because you can easily uh, travel with these this could be a really useful product to carry in your handbag 
So that is my review of the Batiste dry shampoos. I hope you found this helpful. If you want to try these out, you can buy these online at Nykaa. They are currently at a discount because of the Diwali mega sale. So please check the link below if you want to try these out. And now coming to the giveaway, Batiste has very kindly sponsored a few of these dry shampoos for my viewers. So this giveaway is on for three days. At the end of three days, I'm going to announce the winners in this space itself in the comment section below as well as in the description box. There are going to be 13 winners in total. The first 3 winners are going to get a full sized bottle and the remaining 10 winners are going to get a travel sized bottle. To participate in the giveaway, there are 3 things you need to do. The first one is to subscribe to my YouTube channel. The second thing is to follow Batiste India on Instagram. I'm going to put a link to their Instagram in the description box below. And the third thing you need to do is leave a comment below this video letting me know if you have tried dry shampoos before, if you've tried them, what brands do you like to use and what are your thoughts in general about using a dry shampoo. So that is it for this video. I hope you found my review helpful and I hope you will participate in my giveaway. And before I sign off, I just want to wish all of you a very happy Navratri and Durga Puja. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I will see you all soon in my next video. Bye.